Earlier this year, the Russian military announced that their new grenade-armed robotic mini-tanks successfully attacked Ukrainian positions in the Donetsk Oblast of eastern Ukraine. However, Ukrainian reports present a different perspective. Regardless, this event marks the first ever recorded major unmanned ground vehicle assault. So, in today's video, we are exploring everything we know about the attack, including the platform used, its significance, and aftermath. Let's dive right in. According to Russian reports, the unmanned ground vehicles successfully bombarded numerous Ukrainian positions with what was described as hundreds of grenades. Footage from the action show that these UGVs measure approximately 1.5 meters in length and are outfitted with Soviet-era AGS-17 grenade launchers. Described as the first ever mini-tank drone assault, the operation involved a group of these drones that supported the larger assault operation, ensuring the suppression of Ukrainian positions in the village. While little is known about this platform, it shares some similarities with the Themis UGV. Manufactured by Milrem Robotics, a subsidiary of the UAE's state-owned EDGE group, the Themis is widely used by Ukrainian forces. In fact, a Russian defense industry think tank is offering a reward of over $20,000 for anyone who can capture and deliver a Themis UGV. If you want to learn more about this vehicle, check out our full review video. Link can be found in the description below. Okay, let's go back to the assault mission itself. One Russian propagandist claimed that the drones performed well in combat, remaining operational even in situations where losses of personnel and expensive equipment to enemy fire seemed unavoidable. However, according to Forbes, this narrative might not be entirely accurate. At least two UGVs were reportedly either jammed or damaged during the attack. The disabled UGVs were then destroyed by Ukrainian UAVs equipped with first-person view technology. An analyst focusing on Russian military technology also pointed out that, at this point in the war, everything that moves on the battlefield is seen and hit with a drone. Ukraine has established a network of small workshops authorized to manufacture at least 50,000 small first-person view drones per month. These drones, armed with grenades or rocket warheads, are cheap, but capable of targeting Russian troops that could be miles away. So, it comes at no surprise that Ukrainian forces would have taken out the Russian ground drones. Ukraine has also made significant advancements in anti-drone electronic warfare. Experts also note that Ukraine's capabilities in terms of anti-drone electronic warfare surpass those of Russia, enabling them to easily jam and disable Russian drones in large numbers. With that being said, it is important to mention that the Russian UGVs that were used in these attacks were indeed prototypes, and Russian weapon manufacturers will improve them based on battlefield experience. Looking ahead as armed ground robots become standard equipment in Russian regiments, they will need defenses against Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.